One of the most common actions a player can do in almost any game is collecting items. These can be coins, power-ups or weapons. In this tutorial I will teach you how to implement collectibles with a simple inventory for your next game. I already have a scene with map, character and a physics-based movement implementation. If you want to learn how to make a level like this one or how to create a character movement script, you will find links to the appropriate tutorials in the description. And that's it for the intro, let's dive into the tutorial. The first thing we want to do is create a sprite object for our collectible. Let's right click, 2D and select sprite. Let's also reset its position and rename it to diamond. I will then select a diamond image for the sprite property and position this object a bit closer to the character. We also need to add a collider component to it, so let's click on Add Component and search for the Box Collider 2D. Let's also select Is Trigger checkbox. This way the player object will not bounce off the diamond and still will be notified about the collision. I will now duplicate the diamond object, rename it to Heart and update the sprite. And I will also move it a bit to the right. Now it's time to write some code. Let's create a new script. I will name it Collectible and let's open it. We can remove the start and update methods. I will define a new variable. It's gonna be private bool is collected. This variable will serve us as a safety check. We want to be sure that a given object can be collected only once. I will go ahead and add a collect method. It's gonna be public bool collect. I want this method to return true if the operation was successful and false if the item was already collected. So let's write if is collected, then return false. And then is collected is true. Next, we want to remove this object from a scene. So let's write destroy and pass the game object, which is a reference to the object holding this script. And in the last line, we want to return true. Now we can go back to the Unity and let's create two more scripts. The first one will be diamond collectible and the second one heart collectible. The reason for that kind of implementation is because later on we will need to distinguish between the collectibles we collided with and that's one of the ways to do it. So let's first open the diamond collectible script. We can get rid of the start and update methods and all we want to do is replace the mono behavior with collectible. This way diamond collectible will be a subclass of collectible. Then let's move on and do the same with the heart collectible script. And now we can go back to the Unity and add those two scripts to the appropriate objects. So let's select the diamond object, click on add component and search for the diamond collectible script. And then let's do the same with the heart object, but this time search for the heart collectible script. Next we have to add a new tag, we're gonna use it to determine whether the player collides with a collectible or something else. Let's select the diamond object and in the inspector we can find a tag field, let's expand it and let's click on add tag. Next, click on the plus button. I will name it collectible and then press save. As you can see, tag has been created. Let's select the diamond object again and this time we can select the collectible tag from the list. We also want to set the same tag for the heart object. Now it's time to create an inventory script. So let's right click and create a new C -sharp script. I will name it inventory. Then let's open it. We can remove the start and update methods. Instead, we want to create a method called onTriggerEnter2D. This method will be called every time the player starts to collide with a trigger collider. And then we want to check if the other object is a collectible. So let's write if other compare tag. And as a parameter, we need to use a collectible tag name. Next, I will create a private void method called collect with a parameter of type collectible. 
For now, let's create a simple implementation and check if that collectible can be collected. And if that is true, then we want to check the type of that collectible. So let's write if collectible is diamond collectible, then debug log diamond collected. Else if collectible is hard collectible, then debug log hard collected. Now we can go back to the onTrigger method and invoke collect with a collectible component and we access it using getComponent method. Next, let's go back to the Unity and add the inventory script to the player object. Then we can hit play and see the result. Once we collide with a collectible object, that object is being removed and the log message is displayed in the console. The last thing I want to do in this tutorial is to add some GUI elements and display the amount of collected diamonds and hearts. So let's quickly add an UI image element. Let's zoom out to see the whole canvas and let's align the image element to the top left corner and then move it a bit to the right, update the size to 40 by 40 and change the sprite to diamond. I will then add a text element, change the name to diamond counter and update the position in a similar way. I will also update some text properties to make it look a bit better. Then I will go ahead and duplicate these two elements, move it to the right, change the text element name to heart counter and update the sprite image to heart. And that's it for the GUI, we can zoom in to see the player. Now let's open the inventory script. And first we need to import the Unity Engine UI. And then declare two variables. The first one, public text diamond counter. And the second one, public text heart counter. Let's also declare two private variables. This will hold the number of collected diamonds and hearts. I will now update the collect method and increase the value of diamonds and hearts instead of writing a log message. And now let's add another method. This time it's gonna be private void update GUI. And let's write diamond counter text is equal to diamonds to string and heart counter text is equal to hearts to string. And let's invoke this method in the collect method. Now we can go back to the Unity. I will select the player object and set up the references between the inventory script and the text GUI elements. Let's also duplicate the diamond and the heart object to have more than just one of each type in the scene. And now let's hit play. As you can see, the counters are updated once we collide with the collectibles. That would be it for this tutorial. If you like it, please leave a comment below, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.